Welcome back to the SSL Family Dad channel. Uh, today, I have maybe some bad news for some uh, early college students or some high school uh, students that are graduating this year or have graduated in the last couple of years about the, the college lie, I think, and also about student loans and student loan debt. I'm gonna share my experience with these things and share some numbers of student loans and talk about interest payments and uh, and, and, and all the, the things that, that, that I experienced as far as student loans go. Uh, and how you as a high school student or as a parent of a high school student can maybe plan ahead to help you not fall into the same trap that I did. I am currently, uh, I'll be 43 this year, so I'm 42 uh, currently, and uh, I started college a little late. So I was in the military uh, for about six and a half years. I graduated with my four-year degree in uh, network security. So I went to school for network security. I went to uh, several colleges. I went to Lansing Community College. I went to Michigan State University. I also went to Baker College, which is actually where I graduated from with, with a four-year degree, a bachelor's degree. When I graduated in 2012, uh, I had a mix of about half of subsidized student loans and uh, unsubsidized student loans. And for those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, uh, generally when you're going through college, you're taking out loans each semester. Sometimes you get grants, uh, sometimes you get a subsidized loan from Department of Education or other lenders. That is, you do not pay interest on that, so the, the government pays the interest for you. And sometimes you get unsubsidized loans, which means that you're going to pay the interest on that loan uh, throughout the time that you, for, as soon as you start, you take it out, you're going to start paying interest on it as, until you pay it off. I have my uh, my notes here on this handy dandy piece of uh, plywood. So I graduated in 2012. I started paying on student loans uh, in 2013. I had a total of, again, about half subsidized, half not subsidized. I had a total loan amount of $47,046, about $47,000 in loans that I had taken out to, to accomplish a four-year degree. Now, that was actually fairly low uh, given the schools that I went to. Uh, I had some GI Bill that I used I, uh, and other things. I'll talk a little bit about that. But I started my life out. My wife and I got married in 2011. We bought a house together. Her and I were both working. Uh, I was working uh, in my field uh, as a technician, a computer technician, basically, in a, in a kind of lower paying uh, side of my field. Um, but I was, I was working in my field, uh, making decent money at the time. Uh, I was doing remote support for uh, as a computer technician for a big company. And my wife and I, we started off our life uh, with a big bill. We had a house payment, we had car payments, of course, and we had to start paying back student loans. What happens when you, uh, as soon as you graduate, so, so your, your loans are deferred uh, if you don't have to pay on them while you are currently enrolled in school. I, I believe it's half time or more. As long as you're enrolled in actively taking classes in school, you do not have to pay back those student loans. As soon as you graduate and you, you stop uh, taking classes, you, you stop continuing your education, you have to start paying back loans. Uh, there's a grace period and a time, and then you need to start making payments on those. So we went through that process. Uh, we actually consolidated all loans. I had loans from different places. We consolidated loans into uh, one uh, Department of Education consolidated loan, which is very common with, uh, with student loans. And then we, we started making payments. We made payments on what is called, uh, there's several different ways you can make, make payments in student loans and it depends on several factors, but I chose to do an income driven repayment plan, which is what most people do. What that allows you to do is start paying off your student loans based on your income at the time with the idea or intention that we uh, we all kind of start off at the, the low rung of the ladder in our field, and then we move up you know, and, and continue to get paid more. We get raises, we move up, we get promotions, uh, maybe uh, lateral uh, moves between companies. We, we, you know, over the years, we continue to make more and more money, and then the student loan payments go up. I was making an average income, uh, an average American income, uh, maybe between fifty and sixty thousand dollars a year, or something at the time, somewhere between there, about between forty-five and sixty thousand, just depending on the years. Uh, I was making average entry-level wage in my field, which is pretty standard for uh, for that field. My loan payments uh, fluctuated based on my income fluctuating, but it was between three hundred and four hundred dollars per month, approximately, uh, is what I paid every month, which was a pretty good chunk of change, uh, you know, 10, 12 years ago. 
So I continued to make payments on these loans. I paid every month, month after month, $300, $400 going out the door, out the door. Paid and paid and paid. I paid faithfully. I wasn't late. I, I, we we uh, faithfully paid on those student loans. We paid on those student loans uh, for years, all the way through uh, until 2018, when I actually lost my job uh, in the field that I was in, and I decided to go uh, work from home, uh, running the farm and doing YouTube full time. Uh, many of you have been following along with our channel, kind of know this story. When I paid off all of our student loans in 2020, is when we we paid these completely off. We sold our home uh, in 2020 with the income from that home. We paid off uh, the, the student loans. Remember, I started with $47,046. When I paid them off in full in 2020, I paid off $47,481.86. So over all of that time that I was paying on that income-driven repayment plan for approximately seven years, I paid off zero dollars of my uh, overall balance. All I was paying on was just the interest payments. I was making zero progress. If I would have continued to make that range of money for and you know continuing on another seven years, I would have paid off zero of those student loans. I would have continued to have just sat there and actually uh, the student loan dollar amount that I owed went up by over $400. So uh, when I when I started to when I ended, I actually uh, owed more than uh, than I started with. And you know, when I looked at this, when I, I just went back and looked, I signed into my Department of Education account and, and looked back at the history of payments. That was so disheartening to me. It was so disheartening. Even during that time, I remember you know just feeling like I'm never gonna pay these off. It was a constant weight on my back. I was always gonna have to make these payments. And the more money that I made, the higher the payment would get. And it was gonna be 20 or 30 years. Even if I made 75 or 85 or 90,000 or $100,000 a year, the payments would get higher and it would still take me years and years and years to pay off those those loans. Student loans have been in the news a lot over the past few years with uh, President Biden and, and uh, trying to you know uh, pay off a, a good chunk of, of, of people's student loans, which I think was a, a nice gesture, but I'm not sure uh, you know I, I necessarily agree with that. Uh, I took out student loans. I, I knew that I was what I was doing. I was an adult. I, I, I borrowed that money and I always expected that I was going to have to pay it back. So what do you do as a high school or college student, maybe looking to make some decisions to what college to attend and how you're going to pay for college? Or as a parent who has uh, a, a student uh, maybe looking at college soon, as I do. I have a, uh, a student in my home that is going to be graduating next year and be looking at colleges. So this kind of this whole uh, discussion came to the forefront in my wife and I's home to try to figure out how to navigate through this. Do we, do we push her into an expensive college? Do we push her into a community college? Do we tell her to take out student loans? Do we try to pay for you know a good chunk of this? Uh, should she work uh, while she's in college? Should she not work and focus on her school and we help her through that? How there's so many decisions to make uh, with that. But I will just say. I, I would just say this. My opinion is I, I will help uh, my my kids with college as a parent. I'm going to help uh, help them with you know supplies and books and you know vehicles and helping you know even with housing and other things like that. I definitely will help with college, but we are not we are not in a position to pay for 100 percent of college. College can be any tuition from 15 to 25, even higher, thousand dollars per year now. So if you think about an average four year degree. You're gonna. You could end up with seventy-five to a hundred thousand dollars if you borrow all of it and don't pay anything off, and that is a giant mountain of of burden to strap on the back of a young adult who is starting off in life. What I would recommend uh, to any you know uh, high school student looking to go into college is, and parent both both together, you should plan on your student working through college. I think this is a a fair uh, uh, deal for the student and the parent, as well as a res the responsible thing to do. I think as a parent, you should help your, your kids as much as you possibly can. If you've got the money to pay for your kid to go to through college, I think that's wonderful. But I do think that they should they should uh, bear some of that of, of that burden. I think that taking out some student loans is almost necessary. But what I would have loved if I could go back into all the days that I uh, was living you know, in that time. I took my GI Bill and I used that for living expenses. I did work, 
uh, but I was never making enough and I, I didn't, I, I chose to spend my money unwisely uh, on other things and I just kept taking out these student loans. I, well, why would I pay for that? Why, why am I going to uh, make any any payment on those now when I don't have to. I'll just push that down the road. And I continue to do that, making unwise decisions. So be careful. If you are, uh, uh, you, you're going to be offered a lot of free money, it seems like, as a college student, even as, as a parent. Your student will be offered loans and to pay for whatever they want. And they will they will get approved for them. They will get approved to take out $100,000 worth of money, debt, that they will get approved to take out. Be very careful with how much uh, student loan debt you accrue. Obviously, if you are still in high school, your grades have a huge impact in your SAT scores on grants and scholarships and other things. You take advantage of as much of that as possible. And then uh, if you need to borrow a little bit of money each semester, that is totally understandable. But I would recommend even making payments on those loans as soon as you possibly can, even if it's just a little bit, even if it's only $100 a month that you can pay, make payments on those loans right off the bat and take out the very minimum amount of money in student loans that you that you possibly can. Many of us are pushed into college and pushed to go to college right away. I'm not saying that college is not important and I'm not saying that even for our country, that it is not important that we have educated scientists and teachers and engineers and medical uh, um, personnel and all kinds of other fields. I think that is very important. College is not for every single person. And what I hate to see is students going into student loan debt, going into college that they their, their, their parents and their, their guidance counselors and their teachers all told them that this was the path that every kid should take. And everyone should go to school. And even though they didn't really have a passion for a certain thing and they didn't really feel led to that, they, they felt pushed into college. And then two years down the road, they're strapped with you know $30,000, $20,000 worth of debt. They end up not finishing school or graduating with a degree that they can't use. And they have debt and they don't have a good paying job. And then you're in an even worse situation. Be very careful. Everybody does not have to go to college and everyone doesn't have to follow this same path. Everyone should make their own decision on what you feel led to do in your life and what you feel qualified to do and what you feel passionate about. Uh, and that may be something else. Uh, it might be something else. Maybe it's ministry. Uh, maybe it's a, you know, a, a trade for young men out there. Getting into a trade right out of school. If you don't know what to do, go work at a heating and cooling company. Go work at a uh, a plumber or a, or a, a carpentry or or some of a trade, an electrician. Go work as an apprentice. Go work as a helper. Go get a job doing something that you may find valuable, that you may find you like, and that may end up paying you more than you would have made if you would have gone to school. And you'll do it without any debt. And that is uh, that is one great way to go as well. I'm not. Again, parents out there, I'm not, not telling your kids not to go to college, but it certainly is not the same path for every student. So that's my, my, my thoughts, my opinion, and my experience with student loans. It's, it can be dangerous, and we have to be careful. Uh, you are responsible for the loans that you take out. Uh, you are responsible to pay them back. You are responsible for the choices that you make, and college can pay off. If you're going into nursing school or as a doctor, or, you know, an engineer or something, you can get out of school and, and earn you know, more money and pay off. I understand there's all kinds of other, other options here, but don't feel forced and don't make a decision that you're going to regret. Be careful what you borrow, make wise decisions. Even as a, a young person, uh, make good decisions for your future because strapping yourself with debt, I'm 42. I'm just recently free from this. <laughs> so it's been a, it's been a long, a long battle. I love to hear from you guys, parents, students, um, YouTube people uh, out in the world. I'd love to hear from you, uh, you and other countries. Uh, I'd love to hear from you as well about your college experience uh, with, with uh, debt and other things. Thanks for joining me today. Hope to see you on another video. Subscribe, of course, if you are not already. We'd love to have you tag along. As always, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good one.